It's no secret that the tech industry is a mess right now. With news of layoffs still being commonplace, it's making it increasingly difficult for people to get jobs in tech. This is especially true for people who are recent computer science grads, bootcamp grads, or even self-taught programmers. All of this has got me thinking back to a time in my life when I was first trying to break into the tech industry and the struggles I had with finding a job. I remember it being a very dark and stressful time in my life, filled with a lot of uncertainty and self-doubt. My self-esteem and self-worth were the lowest they've ever been, and I was running out of hope. So this is the story of my struggles in finding my first software engineering job, and the advice that I want to give to those who find themselves in the same situation. To understand the mindset I had during my job hunt, we first have to backtrack to when I was in university, as I don't have a technical background, let alone a CS degree. When I was younger, I want to say around fifth grade, I remember telling my teacher that I had no idea what I wanted to be when I grew up, to which she responded with, don't worry, you have years to think about it. You'll figure it out eventually. I internalized those words and always had this blind faith that things would work out. Now, fast forward to when I entered university and I still had no clue what I wanted to do. And this scared me. I figured at this point I'd have some idea, but no, nothing. This fear is what drove me to pick a useless degree I ended up majoring in something called PPE, or Politics, Philosophy, and Economics. My idea for getting this degree was that I would earn a degree in something generic that sounded cool and that I'd use that to gain entry-level employment somewhere and then work my way up. If you asked me where I wanted to work or what I'd be doing, well, I couldn't give you an answer. I was stuck in this, I guess, boomer mindset that if I just got a degree, any degree, I'd be fine. However, I always knew in the back of my head that this wasn't the way to go. Fast forward to my final year of university, I'm in my last quarter and everyone is talking about graduation. Everyone talks about how graduating from university should be one of the happiest moments of your life. It's a ceremony that marks your transition from one phase of your life to another. The thing is, graduation scared me as now would be time to face the real world. After graduation, I remember browsing job sites and I just had no idea what to apply for. I was applying to consulting positions, customer service, anything, and I never got a call back. I was starting to get desperate. When it hit me, I have no specialized skills. Why would anyone hire me without any skills? And truth be told, I had nothing to offer. When I made this realization, I decided that something had to change. I imagined myself in five years where I'd be if I just kept applying to jobs like I was, and I just didn't see a bright future for myself. I knew something had to be done. You see, programming was always interesting to me. I was always curious as to how software was made. However, I never had the confidence to pursue coding on my own or in school. That is until I was faced with the prospect of dead-end jobs for the rest of my life. This realization pushed me over the edge and forced me to confront my fears. I remember the day I told my parents that I wanted to pursue programming as a career. I could see the confusion and doubt on their faces. I knew that they would support and encourage me, but deep down, I could see they were skeptical of my new life path. I felt truly alone. But I knew that I had to push forward, and so I decided that I would take a break from job hunting and dive into the world of web development. I got a couple of programming books and a subscription to Treehouse, and that's how it all started. Now, some people might think I'm extreme for doing this, but I studied for at least 8 to 12 hours a day. Every day. Yes, even on weekends. I was so determined to make something of myself and establish a career in tech that I constantly studied. Everything from computer science, programming fundamentals, big O, and everything in between. I did this because I knew someone like me with a liberal arts degree wouldn't stand a chance against a CS grad. I had to work 10 times harder than the average person just to prove that I had what it takes to be a software engineer. And guess what? After months of grinding, I started to apply for jobs. And to my surprise, even being a self-taught programmer, I was getting calls back. I met with recruiters, talked with hiring managers, and networked like crazy. I had several interviews lined up every week. 
Don't get me wrong, I bombed practically every interview I went on, but just the fact that people were willing to at least interview me let me know that I was heading in the right direction. I remember this one interview I had for an iOS developer role where I was on the call with a senior iOS engineer and he was asking me iOS specific questions and about my personal projects. And I thought it was going well. The senior dev suddenly said, you seem to know your stuff, but if I'm being honest, there's not much on your resume. I'm not really sure what you can offer. That crushed me. To hear that after all the effort I put into my personal projects and the countless hours of studying, to hear someone say that really hurt. Now, most people might've just given up right then and there, but I knew that if I went on enough interviews, then someone somewhere would be willing to take a chance on me. And I was right. After months of interviewing, I finally found a startup that was willing to take a chance on me. The pay wasn't great, it was horrible in fact, but I figured beggars can't be choosers. I was just happy that I found my first developer job. It took me over 500 job applications, but I finally was able to get my foot in the door and the rest, as they say, is history. So that's the story of how I was able to become a software developer. What can we take away from my experience? Basically, the most important thing you can keep in mind when job hunting is that it's just a numbers game. Realistically, you're not gonna be shortlisted for every job that you apply to. You're gonna face a lot of rejections and that's just the reality of the situation. Of course, there's an element of luck too, but you can increase that by applying to more jobs. You might send out 100 resumes and only get maybe five interviews. Again, it's just numbers. It's also crucial that you network. You should be talking to recruiters and hiring managers on LinkedIn every day. I highly recommend recruiters because it's their job to get you placed and they are your best bet to start communication with your target company, whether that's Fang or some Fortune 500 company or whatever. And most importantly of all, never lose hope, especially nowadays, because honestly, if I was just starting as a self-taught programmer in 2024, I think I would really struggle more so than before at least. It seems that the current job market just isn't so receptive to new talent, focusing more on engineers who are already experienced. But that doesn't mean it's impossible. The most important thing is to keep moving forward. At the end of the day, you need to be the one to make change happen. Of course, this is easier said than done, and applying for jobs is only one part of the job hunt. For software engineers, there is the dreaded coding interview that you have to deal with. Now, I bet most of you watching are already familiar with LeetCode. Love it or hate it, it's the default tool most of us use to prepare for our coding interviews. But what if I told you that you might be using it wrong? Check out this video where I share three tips to help you get better at LeetCode. I've taken my years of experience and the dozens of technical interviews I've done throughout my career and condensed the knowledge all into this one video. So I highly recommend checking it out. With that said, I hope you got some value out of this video and I'll see you in the next one.